Hello everyone, welcome to Learn with Shahadat. This is Shobhan. As you know, topic of this video is AutoCAD 2019 tutorial. So in this video series, I am showing you very basic and detailed tutorial of AutoCAD 2019. So subscribe to this channel and stay with us. And also click on the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is updated. So in this video, I am going to talk about layers, design centers and how to create a block in the AutoCAD. So first of all, let's say what is layers. So you can see there is a button called layer properties. In this from from this option, you can actually create and delete layers for your drawing. Suppose there is already three layer. I'm going to delete these two layer. So this zero layer will be by default in here. You cannot actually delete this layer because it is always the selected layer. So if you want to create a new layer, you can just click on this suppose you are drawing a floor plan so you need layers such as for wall different so you are going to draw your wall on a different layer you are going to draw your doors on a different layer you are going to draw your windows on a different layer you also have to you also will be need layer for your dimensions and texts your furnitures And also for your electrical design, electrical wire, electrical wire and etc. So you can actually create as much as many layer as you want depending on your need. As you can actually create as many layer as you want. So let's talk about some advantages of layer. So suppose when you are editing a very complicated design, there are many options here, many lines here. Suppose you are going to delete one line, accidentally it is possible that you are deleting another line or you are just some drawing just moved accidentally. To prevent this, you can actually log different layer when you are editing a, another layer. Suppose you are editing your wall layer, you going to you can actually log all other layers. So none other layer none other component of these layers will be ever moved or deleted when you are editing your wall layer similarly for other layers so you can just delete it or you can lock all the layers so suppose all the layers are now unlocked and you are you are going to you you want to see just what your walls look like or what your doors look like so you can just turn on and turn off using this light bulb button turn on a turn off your different layers different and you can see how an individual layer look like and how, what improvement you need on this layer of your design so using this layer you, you will have you will actually have many advantages when you are drawing so let's see another things next that is how to create a block so first we are going to draw a draw do, door first we are going to draw a door and we are going to make it a block so to draw a door symbol you just have to take one small rectangle and just copy it so i am going to just move it here now i am going to use another tool that is arc tool here i am going to use a start center and end so i am going to this is my start this is my center and this will be my end so now i'm going to add another rectangle from this point to this point now this is my door symbol this is my door symbol so if you want to make it a block what can you do so first of all you can see there is a block button so first of all you have to select all of this then first in this block option you can see there is a block creator so just if you click on this block creator you can just first of all you have to give a name so i'm going to give it door and now you can see there is a specify on screen object so first i'm going to select the object so to select the object i'm going to select all of it then press enter 
So now object is selected. Now I'm going to press just OK. So now this is actually became a block. Now you can see there is no individual option here. There is no individual part here. This is this has become a block. So if you want to insert this block again, suppose I'm going to delete this and one some drawing you will need to insert your block. So you'll get this block here door. So you can actually search for this block here. Suppose if you write door, then it will appear if you click OK and press enter. This is your actually block. The block has come here. Now you can actually adjust the size of this block, block depending on the needs of your drawing. You can scale it using the scale scale button. I have already shown you on my previous video how to scale different object. You can just go to this video. I will put the link of all this video below on the details box. Okay, let us see another example of creating a block suppose you are going to you, you want to create a window so there are many design for window you can use your whatever design you like you can use that so i'm going to just use one specific that i usually do i have created this and now i'm going to keep this portion and this portion open and i'm going to copy this actually here and I am going to insert a small. So this is my usually I use window symbol. This this is as my window symbol. So, so after the drawing, you have to click on this button that is create block, and you have to specify name window. Then you have to select the object. So I am going to select all of this object and press enter, and the your and your block is created. Click OK. So now if you want to insert this block similar there is two block here so you can just search here also if you search door door block will appear if you search window window block will appear if you just click ok the block will actually be here and you can just press ok your block will be inserted. So here is the option you can create manually you can create manually whatever block you want. So AutoCAD actually has another option that is known as Design Center. You can just press Control 2. Okay, you can press Control 2, and a new window will actually appear. So it's taking a little bit of time. So this is the window. This is known as Design Center. So you can actually follow another method to bring on this window. That is just right add center on the command panel and press enter so first of all this window will open the default view wherever suppose if you if you use previously this option it will open this if you use previously this option it will it will open this so to make it very easy and accessible first you need to click on this home button so it will take on you the home of this add center window and from here you can select English US EN US so again home EN US and here you can actually say the design center folder after entering the design center you can see many options analog integrated circuit AutoCAD textiles kitchen appliances landscape pipes fitting plant processing welding HVAC there are many other options you can just add options from here or you can create your own block suppose I'm going to see some landscape so if you want a landscape enter the landscape and here is the blocks here is there are many flowers trees signs hot tubs and picnic tables tree many other options you can just go back and suppose I'm going to see some kitchen appliances and again enter the block base cabinet microwave phone jack all the block are actually made here for you but you will not always get all the blocks you need so you may need to create your own block manually which i have shown you previously so design center is comes in pretty handy always so you can also actually there are many other options you can also go 
again I'm going to go home English US design center CMOS integrated circuit electrical powers there are also home space house signature HVAC design suppose you can just okay here is one thing that is home space planner so home space planner inside home space planner there are many other, many things sofa plan bed copy copy machine desk so suppose i'm going to uh, put on a computer terminal or just a bed so you just drag it and click on it where you want to put cabinet desk drag it click on it where you want to put so chair click on it and where you want to put it will be in there you can just minimize this and keep it here minimize this and keep it here so suppose i have drawn all of these things in my block layer if i just now uh, go to another block on my door layer so let's say i'm going to turn off my block layer. keep the current layer off all of the layers actually gone this on the other hand this chair actually is on the door layer which that's why we, that, this is why this is actually yellow so if i select the door layer and now turn on the block layer blocks will appear turn on the block layer blocks will appear so i'm going to select the block layer and if i turn off the door layer that yellow chair will be gone so this is how you actually can create new layer create new blocks and you can actually use the existing block that is provided for you in the autocad library design center so that's all for today thank you for watching in future i'm going to show you a details very simple basic floor plan which will be a long video around half one and a half hour so hopefully stay with us stay with us in future and always please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever new video is updated